Hello, today we will make 3D de wall decoration. It will be look like this once it's already finished. And then I already prepare this, the shadow box, and I will put deco patch paper for the edge and I already have the deco patch glue and this is um, graphics that I took from Heidi Ho Lettering Delights and I cut it using Silhouette Cameo. Now with this tutorial I will show you how I set up the graphics from Lettering Delights and then cut it using Silhouette. Okay, I really basically from here, from this picture this is what I already prepare for everything to make that 3D wall look. Okay, first we will need to take pictures, of course. I will click this one. I will click this one. First is first, first thing first, sorry. I always set up the paper first. It will be A4 on landscape. I put it there. And then after that, I need to trace the object because my intention will be only cutting the edge, not the whole thing, not the inner part of the graphics. So I have to take off all this tick, make the threshold 100%, and trace the outer edge. And I will go to the cutting set in here, cutting style window here, just to make sure that Silhouette Cameo already set up the um, cutting set on the under edge. I'm already happy seeing that. And I will put... Uh, oh, no. I will put the registration mark on... Uh, mm -mm. See, this is the thing that... Mm, big thing when you... didn't put the registration mark earlier that's the problem that you can get Okay, I will redo everything again. Make the threshold 100%. And trace the outer edge. See the cutting style. Yep, I'm happy with that. So, there you are. Before you've done everything, you need to put this registration mark and then set your paper on the type of, uh, no, sorry, on the size of the paper that you intend to use. I'm using A4 and then in my silhouette, it's easier if I put it on landscape. So, paper and don't forget to show your registration mark because your graphics have to be inside this red box and I'm already for everything yep and then I will save this okay. 
Yeah. yeah. Um. And then make sure that my printer already the same. Yeah. After it's being printed up, sorry, that's the finishing. Sorry, I keep taking all this, the wrong pictures. Yeah, this is how it looks like when I print up uh, previously, earlier, the projects before. So make sure that this black dots and this lines are already there. So otherwise your silhouette cameo cannot recognize it to cut it. So yeah, this is how it looks like on silhouette. And then this will be look like this after it's done. Yeah. To be able to do this, I put three foam, um, three pe foam, three D. Sorry, foam stick. Is that the name? I think that's the name. Yeah, yeah, roughly something like that to make the tree look a bit protruding. And this one, I just stick it on the on the frame, as you see there. Okay, roughly, this project's really quick. And then using silhouette cameos makes things even easier. I can't imagine to cut it up using my own hand. It will take ages, might be half a day to do this. So yeah, if you're thinking to decorate your wall um, using lettering delights, graphics, you can do any type of thing. Um, and even you can use your silhouette for any kind of projects. And this is one of them. So far it's really easy, hope you enjoy your experience with your silhouette cameo and your littering, lettering delights and then happy crafting, okay, bye. <laughs>